hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim and thank you all so much for all the love and support hope you all are doing great today we'll be talking something very important and before we get into this video i am going to tell you that i, I am washing my hands off anything that got to do with bike park i do not believe in bike park and uh, i am not in support of it and then i do not also believe in uh, allies and there is nothing like that it does not work for black community and i want us to understand this and run with it because some of the for some of us refuse to understand this because this particular young man that is coming to call black people dumb and tell us that he is coming to uh, level three grade le like it's coming to level three uh grade level in order to speak to black community is really something i do not know and most of the black people that are called him out guess what he did he decided to use modern minority myth on them why suprematist tactics right what did he do he decided to go and pull out their record in order to use it against them who does that? It is only palm colored people or people that identify with white supremacists that does that. And it is the fact that people come into our own community and want to tell us what to do. People that grew up black people's platform, check that young man's page you see that almost everybody supporting him are black people why because he actually started as an ally right and now we all can see their true color and i remember there was a video he did sometimes where he said that why is it that black people do not comply with police when they stop them you know what let's get into this video i think we should be supporting Candace Owen. i knew there was a reason why i unmute you with him a while ago Nah, you unfollowed me in 2022 when I made videos about how BLM executives were funneling donations into their own LLCs to buy investment properties. Like, your tone policing, police brutality, and corruption. <laughs> it's fucking wild. Yo, I already dumbed down everything I say to a third grade level. Like, yes, if you're a minority, you should probably be backing Candace Owens on this one right now. Like, yeah, she talks racism, but another country is bombing you for the color of your skin. Like, I don't, I can't make this any simpler. That just happens to be practicing a different religion. <laughs> it's... I think the most disappointing thing I discovered in the last 72 hours is just how fake all the marginalized communities are on the south. I'm really just so sad that you guys don't really actually give a shit about your own issues. I think as African people, we need to know the difference among an ally, a friend, and an enemy. African folk don't know that your ally can become your worst enemy after the deed is done. Allies are not friends. We need to know the difference. The pointing thing I discovered in the last 72 hours is just how fake all the marginalized communities are on the south. Oh, word? I want to know what this smug little shit actually does for marginalized people off this app that gives them any authority to say that we're fake as fuck. I don't like asking that question because I believe that you can make a lot of impact on your community online. But since this motherfucker wants to throw a tantrum, what do you do off this app? What do you actually do? Because a lot of the people who have criticized you rightfully actually go out and do shit for their communities in the real fucking world. You're not better than anyone. You're not smarter than anyone just because you've debated Candace Owens and you've debunked Candace Owens. All that means is that you're TikTok famous. You have access to somebody that a lot of people don't have and you want to keep her relevant in your life. Good for fucking you. Many of us don't. Many of us want to continue to do our community organizing and our community service and live our happy lives keeping Candace Owens fucking irrelevant. People are responding to you because you opened your video with a dumb fucking take. And if your reaction to very valid fucking criticism is to come on here and call everyone stupid and selfish, then... That's projection, my guy. You're the only one coming on here with the bruised ego. We're fine over here. I think we should be supporting Candace Owen. I knew there was a reason why I unmuted you with him a while ago. Now this confirmed. And, nah, you unfollowed me in 2022 when I made videos about how BLM executives were funneling donations into their own LLCs to buy investment properties. Like, like the, the irony, your tone policing, police brutality, and corruption. <laughs> it's fucking wild. Y'all don't even forgive TikTok on their past and their, and their, and their past mistakes. But y'all want us to forgive Candace Owens. And we're supposed to just move past it. 
how are we talking about forgiveness and letting shit slide? Like, Patrick, I'm not coming after you for a personal shit, but this is what fucking auto-completes for me when I look for you. Like, w w what the fuck do I say to that? Bro, what is wrong with you? She gets one W out of a hundred L's because she said the right thing for once, and we're supposed to just forget all of the horrific things she said about women of color, people of color in general. Yeah, millennials can't be this dumb. Like, like if you are, like, th there's no hope. I don't need to make another video. I already dumbed down everything I say to a third grade level. Like, yes, if you're a minority, you should probably be backing Candace Owens on this one right now. Like, yeah, she talks racism, but another country is bombing you for the color of your skin. Like, I, don't, I can't make this any simpler. Another country takes your tax dollars to go bribe your politicians to give them more of our tax dollars to go bomb people of a darker skin tone that just happens to be practicing a different religion. And when a black woman raised her hand and was like, yeah, no, that's kind of fucked up, they took her money and your money to go tell journalists to write shit about her to ruin her life and end her career. Like, <laughs> it's... I think the most disappointing thing I discovered in the last 72 hours is just how fake all the marginalized communities are on the South. Like, I, I just, like, scroll through your account and scroll through mine. Like, you guys don't hate Candace Owens. You don't have the history of debunking or debating her like I do. You are making videos about the dude talking about Candace Owens. But like, what was I supposed to do? Make reaction videos about radiator fluid? Like, it's fucking dumb. Holy fuck, it blows my mind how stupid we all are. Like, I'm gonna try one more time. A country that sterilized black people silenced a black woman for saying stop taking your tax dollars to go bomb kids so that boomers of a different skin color can have a beachfront property in Gaza. Like, wh what, how, how much simpler can I make this conversation? You, you're next, like, if, if you were living in a different geography, they would be bombing you too. Wait, I, I'm not even done venting. I, I'm really just so sad that you guys don't really actually give a shit about your own issues. And you want to know how I know? Because in my Candace Owen video, I talked about two black people, not one. Yeah, one is a racist bitch, but the other person takes your tax dollars to sell you out to a country that euthanized you. And, and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Where's the outrage for Hakeem Jeffries? And, and not to go conspiracy theory on you guys, but I remember when this was his skin color before he started taking APAC money. So I <laughs> take that for what it's worth. If TikTokers on their past and their, pa and their, and their past mistakes, but y'all want us to forgive Candace Owens. And we're supposed to just move past it. How are we talking about forgiveness and letting shit slide? Like, Patrick, I'm not coming after you for a personal shit, but this is what auto-completes for me when I look for you. Like, what the f do I say to that? What do you say to that? Sir, you say congratulations. Since you know everything and you got your motherfucking degree, you would know that black Americans make up 2% of the population and yet our children make up 24% of the foster care system. While our counterparts make up almost 80% of the population, but their children are only being removed at a 40% rate. The math is not mathing. And maybe, just maybe, I'm doing my math wrong since I only got my GED as well, but I'm pretty much sure that the black population represents two times as many children as the white population you let me know though i'm right but that is not my main qualm with your video my main issue with you is why are you in black people's business literally why why candace owens has done things against the black community we've been trying to hold her accountable we've been speaking to her and if her whole rebranding that's great for her good sis but doesn't mean that we didn't forget what you did and speaking on not forgetting what someone did Genty, like you like to pull up his record, was held accountable for what he did by the courts and by public forum. Have you seen what this man has gone through? And I'm not trying to justify. I'm not the court. I'm not the judge. I'm not the jury. I'm just a nigga who advocates for children. But what I do know is that black children are removed twice as much and it is very difficult to follow your family plan and get your children out of care. And one fact that I do know is that Chinti has his children. Now, feel how you may about his charges. I have my own personal feelings, which Chinti knows about. I've talked to him several times, one-on-one -on -one in the DMs. He did his family plan. He re rehabilitated 
Isn't that what we ask for when people do crimes? Or do we hold that against them? And do we use that as a tool of white supremacy every time they say something 10 years later that we don't like? It's sounding like white supremacy to me. Now, before you go and do your little research on me, sir, yes, I have a criminal past and you can Google me as well. And while you're looking up my criminal history, make sure you grab some merch. I got stickers, bumper stickers, and I got t-shirts because we are not our past and people can change. And I can guarantee if you Google my name, you're gonna have a lot of white supremacists who don't like what I do. But here I am, still I shine. So let's wrap up this video. You address a conversation about Candace Owens that had nothing to do with you. Stay in your lane. You refuse to. You're diverting out of your lane. And out of the thousands of black people who had an opinion about Candace Owens, you decided to pinpoint J Patrick Genty and his charges using a tool of white supremacy. And at this moment at 8, 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, you have removed said video because it wasn't looking good, buddy. You were getting ratioed. And I find that very funny after what happened in 2020 when the black community was demanded to look at what was happening to the Asian community. We were demanded to understand and hear your plight. And here you are, just like y'all traditionally do, using white supremacy tactics against black people in our own spaces. So educated, and yet you're using the tool of the model minority myth. Your opinion was unwarranted unwanted and off base. And you know that, which is why you removed your video. But the internet lasts forever and it, there's impact versus intention. And not only have you impacted the black community, you've now impacted the birth parent community because you made it look like birth parents cannot reconcile from their mistakes and do better and become better parents. And they can. I have a slogan on my platform, always shine your light. But for you, I'm gonna need you to stop shining. Because what you're shining is darkness. You should probably be backing Candace Owens on this one right now. You know what you should do? You should stop deleting the comments of black creators who are disagreeing with you in your comment section. That's really sick. You should also stop involving yourself in intracultural conversations about communities that don't involve you and which you're not a part of. You do not get to cast black people or all minorities in a monolith and then tell them how to respond to something. Candace Owens has inflicted lateral violence upon the black community for years. She is a stain on our culture. I don't care if she happened to have one good take. She's still a garbage person. She's still a dumpster fire and she's problematic and gross. And that doesn't mean that we can't still be pro-Palestine and anti-Zionism because there's a lot of us who are most definitely that. But there's people like you who think that you get to come on the internet and speak down to minorities and tell us how who we should be supporting and why and when. And then use all of this low-brow, low-hanging fruit, pathetic type of arguments. You are fragile. And we can see that because you only want an echo chamber in your comment section. You want to talk about black people, but you don't want black people to be able to respond to you in your comments. That's pathetic. You should probably sit out on this one. You probably should. And you probably should sit out of conversations that are intercultural to black people until you figure out how to stop having an implicit bias against us. You are not eating at all. You think that you're talking down to people. You think that you're the smartest person in the room. And what you sound like is a complete moron. Bye. I don't really actually give a shit about your own issues. And you want to know how I know? Well, hello there. So what slur does your ethnicity call black people? I can't keep up. <laughs> hey, Asian people. Come here. Okay? Um... I don't know what ethnicity is and I don't care to find out. So since y'all all like to blame our race as a whole when something bad happens to you, uh, you know, the Stop Asian Hate movement that y'all did to overshadow Black Lives Matter, yeah, that one blamed it on us. So, you know, <laughs> it's funny because in the last video I made on you, I indicated that this was something that you would do. Of course you're okay was working hand in hand and bloody bloody with Candace Owens. She talks shit about black people, not Asians. Come get him. And I'm not defending Gentry in no way at all, but you use his page where you saw he talks about 
random thing. And then you showed your page of your social activism. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what you built your platform on. So do your job. Y'all excuse me right quick. I'm Googling the list of slurs that different Asian ethnicities call blacks. This is why I say I am against BIPOC unity. This is why I say I'm not BIPOC. I'm black. Because your POC friends will throw you under the fucking bus at the earliest opportunity when they've reached their goals after riding our coattails. Y'all remember when you fought so hard to get rid of affirmative action so that y'all could have easier access to schools because black people benefited from it more? It's funny because y'all make up half the population of black people, yet your entrance rates into these Ivy League schools and other schools are higher than ours. Y'all forget that on the hierarchy, black people are at the very, very bottom. But Asian people, right under whites, and if given an opportunity to behave white in America, oh, they're going to take it. See, y'all BIPOC unity black people forgot about the Latasha Harlins of the world. Y'all forgot that not only were white people following this around the stores. Y'all forgot everything about what you grew up being taught for your protection. He openly admits that the lives in Palestine are more important than ours. The Arab Palestinians, because that's all they talk about. What about the Afro-Palestinians living in the town called al Abi, meaning slaves? I won't mention it every time. I don't care how much y'all try to drag me. Oh, this is gonna, this is just gonna breed hate between, this is just one Asian person. There's already division. It's in their cultures. And if you don't think that Asian people are right under white people, you think that's crap. And please tell me, if white people disappear today, who do you think would be more comfortable with place? I just don't care anymore. I really don't know how it sounds. It's facts. It's facts. And y'all all knew that from your parents. They told you before you got on this app. I don't care what y'all call me. It's the truth. It's the truth. And y'all know it's the truth. Come on. Candace Owens on this one right now. Like, yeah, she talks racism. This man is all over TikTok today calling black people dumb, implying that black women are dumb, saying he has to dumb it down for us like we're in the third grade. And then in his next breath, calling us minorities. We're not minorities. But let me dumb it down for you. Candace Owens has spent her entire career causing harm to the black community. She has self-hatred and is full of internalized racism. I know those are big words for you. I'm sorry. I'm, she's not good for the black community. She has hurt us and profited from that. Profit is a big word. She has made money from hurting black people. Let me dumb it down for you. So we are not going to forgive her. And you are in no place to lecture black people on our own oppression, to tell us who to follow, who to support, and then to call us dumb when we disagree with you about following a known racist. You do not have to be white to uphold white supremacy. And those are just real big words. That's as dumbed down as I can get for you. Okay? Um, the fact that you are implying that we're unintelligent, laughing at us, and arguing with us about Candace Owens, I need you to find a mirror. Go walk to a mirror. Do you see a black man in the mirror? You don't? Then sit down. You, it is not your place to speak about black issues. Now, maybe if you were an ally, you could, but you haven't been. You never have been. Your whole content is for 
likes, shares, and clout. I watched you post a thirst trap once to a serious social justice issue. And I was like, you are so unserious. Stop. And it's just, it's cringy. You don't get to tell us who to support. You don't get to lecture us about our movements. Do you understand that? And you do not get to lump all black and brown people together. You kept saying, they're bombing you over there. You know, they're causing a genocide over there to the Palestinians. And you're lumping Palestinians and black people together. I know there are some black Palestinians, but you, but do not lump us all together. And Palestinians need to be amplified on the app. They don't need Candace Owens to do it. Palestinians, there are thousands of Palestinians on here that we can follow, like, share, comment, and repost all of their stuff. When we're talking about Palestinians, the voice is Palestinians. That's who we go to. We don't go to Candace Owens. The audacity, the audacity is unreal. And I came for him before about a police brutality case because there was a police brutality case where he blamed the victim for their, he was like, they should have complied. And then he deleted that video. This is not an ally. We knew that, right? He's so unserious. Ugh. Stop talking. Stay in your lane. Find your lane. I don't know what race or ethnicity you are. I don't know. I'm not going to guess. Find out what it is. Okay? Because you apparently think you're black. Find out your race and ethnicity and amplify issues that affect your community. Okay, there are a lot of people on here that can speak about other communities who can who can be allies to the Asian community, the Pacific Islander community, the Hispanic community, the indigenous community. There's a way to be an ally and then there's you. So I'm not going to guess what race or ethnicity you are. But I'm telling you right now, you're not black and you, your, your permission to speak on our, our issues has been revoked. Okay. Great. Have a great day. Should probably be backing Candace Owens on this one right now. Like, yeah, she talks racism. In regards to speaking about fake allies to the black community, we spend so much time on white T people that we don't look at other BIPOC groups that have certain creators or certain people that act like they're allies to us when they're not. The second you clock their teeth, the second you tell them no, the second you tell them they can't, some of them will sit here and resort to white supremacist tactics to try to make a point or try to invalidate you and silence you. I remember I called out a certain creator two years ago that did the same crap. <laughs> and he resorted to white supremacist tactics. Two years later, another BIPOC creator just did the same thing yesterday. Black people, we ain't got no allies nowhere, man. We gotta help, 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 help. But when it comes to us asking for help, there's always a why, there's always a but, there's always a well, there's always a, well, you know what? Like, there's always a something when it comes to us asking for help. They sign plenty of bills to help other marginalized groups of people. Why ain't nobody signing no bills for us? Where's our reparations at? Where's our, where's our 40 acres and a mule? We've still been asking for that for almost 200 years and still ain't get it. While we continue to give, 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 give. When one of our own does something problematic to, to another BIPOC community, all of us black people band together to hold that one black person accountable. But I don't really see that from other communities. Why is that? Why is that? Comment down below. I really want to know. Let's have the let's have the conversation. So this is all I have from the stitches and uh, 
this video is really very deep if you understand what i am saying like i have been saying this for a longer time i know you all are also so much aware of it that our black people really do not have allies and that it's a period some of them just talk about uh, probably want to support black people when it is convenient for them and if you were um, if you disagree with them at any point in time you see how violent and how um how they really do not care about us because i don't see how somebody want to force you i don't know how somebody is forcing something down our throats and we are saying we do not want this and you just want to force it down our truth you know we don't want it and uh, i am also not in support of uh, i love unity i love peace a whole lot but I am not in support of BIPOC, forget about it. Because I have, uh, since I started going deep into the history, I have really seen a whole lot happen to black people, especially the people that black people get platform. You can imagine raising a cob, not knowing if when it grows, if it's gonna be a lion and all that, so like, you know, maul you and all that, right? So, but then black people are very supportive when it comes to, I mean, other people giving them voices and all that. Because if you check this young man, he actually started as an ally, right? A lot of black people, he, a lot of black people have are following him, supporting him, giving him voice and, uh, you know, being very helpful. But uh, it looks like uh, it is not going to work anymore. I mean, we do not want them to speak for us and, uh, Go to your community and speak for your community because it looks like some of you, like, you know, see how he called black people dumb and not smart, saying that he had to come to level three grade to speak to us. You can imagine the insult. You can imagine the insult. Now, let me say this. I do not know how me, probably as a, let me just use as an African, right? How do I want to speak? Like, you know, go into Asian community and want to force them to do something. Or telling, just like telling black people what it's going on in their community more. Now, let's get into the way he was like, you know, they are killing, uh, they are, he was trying to say that they are unaliving some black Palestinians and all that. Now, if there is any people or anybody that were so much on their feet, during whatever that has been going on in Palestine, black people took it on the, like it was like as if they were hawking Quran. They carried it on their head and they were everywhere. To this very moment, a lot of people are sharing, a lot of people are still talking about it. And the fact that so many black people spoke about what it's going on in Palestine and Israel more than what it's going on in Congo, Sudan, Haiti, and some other places. This is just to tell you how when black people are up for you, they are really up for you and they don't back down not until they are done. So for somebody to come to remind us that uh, we are probably not doing enough and somebody is trying to speak up. So because she spoke up on what she was like, you know, were we supposed to remind her, Candice Owen, to speak up on what it's going on since how many months that this has been up. And so she decided to speak on it, which is the right thing to do. How are we supposed to withdraw all the money in our banks and pack our gadgets and all that and give her? Because she spoke up over what it's going on, which black people have been doing all this month. Make this make sense because some people really need to go back to school and unlearn some, oh, sorry, learn and then decolonize their mindset. Because I really do not see how people wake up to tell you what you are supposed, it is just the audacity, it is just the gods. You know, some people really have balls, gold, like they have, we really have gods. Because if he doesn't have God, how would you come into somebody's community and telling them what to do when you are not part of that community? And I am going to, anybody that want to send my video to him, see, I have been following that young man, Kes, 
Jedi, right? Because I thought he was a being, I remember him uh, debating Jeffrey Mead, right? So I thought he was really a good one. I was following him. I've been following him all this while, right? But I, I, am no longer, I am no longer following him. I do not care. Yeah. And the fact that he was also deleting black people's comment in the comment section tells you a lot. <clears throat> when black people started calling him out, what did he do? You see how palm colored white supremacy tactics, he put it out on most black people. How? By bringing out their, probably their records and all that, trying to talk down on them and the rest of it. So what is now the, uh, what do they call that? Model minority tactics, right? I hope I am correct. That is what he's trying to, the game he want to pull on us. But I love the fact that uh, <coughs> we already know how they act. Sorry about that. Right? We already know how they act. And the reality is that, see, I am no longer partnering or okay, I've never partnered with anybody or being into anybody that is an ally. If you're an ally, I, I probably will talk about you, say what you said, but I am not putting hope on you because I really have put a lot of hope on so many people that ended up disappointing me. Right? So I do not have hope on anybody anymore. So whatever I see on the internet, I post. But trying to come to tell you that, oh, this person has really been there for black community. Number one is because tomorrow he is going to wake up and uh, pull the same taxes because a lot of them have pulled these taxes on black people. Not even one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. They are uncountable. And some of them, I already brought them here. So count me out when it comes to anything by pork. I am not in support of it. If you are in support of it, that is it. But one thing I am going to say is that I do not force something down our black people's throats. Don't force anything on us and do not speak for us. You are not a black person. We know what is good for you, us. We know what is not good for us. So the fact that you want us to support someone because you already debated her or because I don't know if you are looking for a platform. If you are looking for a platform, that is your problem. Leave us out of your platform, out of your whatever you are looking for. Leave us out of whatever you are looking for. And that is on period. I am not going to, I mean, leave black people out of your business. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.